COVID-19 is, of course, still impacting lots of area businesses, including gyms, which remain closed all across the state. Now a group of owners is taking that matter to court. Lawsuit was filed on behalf of a group of gyms and fitness facilities who dispute the stay at home order and they want to reopen. 13 on your side's Kylie Ambu has more. Endurance Fitness Center of Kentwood is just one of the around 120 gyms who say their constitutional rights have been violated. Now they're banding together to get their doors back open. If no one speaks up for people with no power, then nothing can be done to help those people. The group call themselves the League of Independent Fitness Facilities and Trainers, also known as LIFT. They, along with their attorney Scott Erskine, argue mandates from Whitmer and the Michigan Health Department have been a violation of gym owners' rights and liberties. Even in a crisis, we don't throw the Constitution out the window. You need to have a post-procedural due process review to allow businesses, in this case, an opportunity to have a conversation with the government as to how they can reopen safely. Gyms within Lyft sent three different letters to state officials outlining their strategies to open safely, which included sanitizing procedures, decreasing capacity, and requiring self-health checks. Kentwood gym owner Jason Furman says it's not just a matter of what's essential, but what is safe. Not a single person is sanitizing things in grocery stores. But everywhere you look in a fitness center, everything the entire day is being sanitized over and over and over again. And the group argues that rather than add to the risk of COVID-19, it could help in relief. To be able to assist people that have that suffer from diabetes and obesity and hypertension, three of the comorbidities that uh, uh, overwhelmingly lead to complications with COVID-19. Whitmer is facing a number of lawsuits over her executive orders, which have mandated strict restrictions to help slow the spread of COVID-19 in the state. Erskine says Lyft isn't demanding for doors to reopen tomorrow, but rather to discuss a timeline and guidelines for reopening. In Kentwood, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.